Hello everybody, my name is Lindsay Nick and welcome back to Change Special Edition 3D. We are back with Tom. Hello Tom, how are you Tom? Hope you're doing good Tom, because uh, cause we're gonna forget you as soon as we uh, as soon as we get out of this. Don't look at the electrical outlet like that. Okay, we start here and we're gonna go forward. There we go. Okay, this is this part. So basically what these guys do, that's a pure black latex beast. It appears that you have not been spotted. Sneak silently, could it be feasible? Okay, we're gonna change. We're gonna save. We're gonna save here. There we go. Okay, what does this do? This is between normal mode and silent mode with left alt key. Okay, obviously, this is not going to show TV shows. Okay, so a left alt. Okay, okay, so we gotta make it interesting here. Here, okay, so we move while they're not looking. Hello there, buddy. How are you doing today? Did you pay your taxes? How does he not see me? Are you blind? You're blind, right? You're blind. You're you're no real. You don't exist. What's this? Oh, somebody was nice to drive. <laughs> somebody was nice to draw shit for us. So there's pictures there that we missed. No. Editor Nick, zoom on the pictures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, great pictures. Yeah. Amazing. Great. <gasps> Yo. Hello there. Don't be doing that shit to me, fam. Don't, don't be doing that shit to me, bro. Don't be doing that shit to me. Okay. Will you really come here? Is he still alive? I don't know everything. I've been waiting for you for so long. Are you strong enough? Are you what I'm hoping for, human? In addition to the poorly written message, you are surprised that the message uses the term human in certain in the certain context. Isn't the one who wrote it human? Or is he expecting you to be human? You wonder, but you don't fully understand. Alright, cool. That's actually what I'm gonna do for this part is... I'm gonna do that. So are you like you gonna attack me or what? No? Okay. Goodbye. Cool. There's uh, some lore pieces over here I don't wanna see. I put all the investigation investigation material. I think yeah, that was a typo. <laughs> that was a typo. I could find in the way and write down all the suggestions I could think of to help you survive. Okay, so that's Puro. That's my conclusion for now that that's Puro trying to talk to us because dr k has a special pattern of talking which isn't this so uh let's let's get you okay this, this is the this is the harder one. Oh, okay yeah we're gonna have to go all the way back so i'm gonna do that and you just guys wait that took me a while but i'm back and i'm here and again missed fucking images okay but anyways this, this nick just just zoom on them yeah okay and they turn into okay okay i i see i see Oh my god, look at all of them sleeping. Hello. Hi. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. He can tear me to shreds, but he's so cute. Look at him. So cute. So cute. Oh my god. You're so, you're so adorable. So adorable. Can I eat it? Okay, I've tried to eat it. I'll be discovered. Move. Oh my god. Okay. Bro. Now that we're back here. Yeah, I forgot to press alt. You're looking at me, you know you're looking at me, you fucking... Okay. It's interesting that these latex creatures still have to sleep. So they still have some sort of, you know, influence. Like, they still have some bodily functions. What do you... You look so weird. You look weird. I don't like... Okay, but if you go here... Okay. It is impossible to move the metal box by hand. Maybe using the power of those beasts, you can start by attracting one here. Okay, let's actually... Let's just go and do that. So circles down here... Which green circles, a developer told me that green circles are where I should be. So if I go here, then they should go there. Thank you, development team. Otherwise, I'd be stuck on this puzzle for longer than I should be. Until this day, piss, <laughs> no one has come to the library. Please give me some kind of answer, even if you just tell me that you're alive. Hello there, gentlemen. Oh, there's another thing over there. There's noises in your cubicles. Be a weird way to get transformed in the, tu in the cubicles, not gonna lie. More pictures. Great. Picture one. Okay. Picture two. Picture three. Then picture four. So these are from like a microbial kind of thingy and then they develop into something more. That's why I was talking about parasites and stuff. Nothing the latex beasts as oil jelly because they are fragile, but you can throw a person several meters. Some beasts are also very sensitive to smell. Be careful, human. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's redo this. Step on this. And then we go here. That uh, this just does not work. Okay, what are we supposed to do then? Can I just print and get their attention? Okay, he's gonna open it. 
Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, but I got... Okay, we start running here. And then we just crouch here. We do not. Okay, what? What? 15th time. Okay. That actually made me shake in real life. Then we just stay here, right? Okay. We got it, finally. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna go save once more. Actually, do I need to? Yeah, I'm gonna go save once more, just in case. Just in case, because I swear. I swear. I swear. These biological structures of black gelatin are similar to single-celled organisms. They are composed of entirely of a nucleus and mass of fluid. In the beginning, they are very small fragments of crystals coated in gelatin. At the time, the crystals had no fixed shape, mimicry, ability, and had nothing to do with the beast. But under our cultivation, part of the genes of these creatures suddenly awakened. In order to adapt to the environment's organs such as four legs, evolved their appearance, increasingly become wolf-like. They even imitated us and develop the ability to walk on two legs, which is what they do as of now. But it's not just wolves, their genes are like an empty template, compatible with genes of four living things. They can become whatever they want, and they can even fork their evolution into different branches depending on the environment. Regarding the ability to simulate, it's the only effect of this ability to mimic. Their innate abilities to make, uh, make me speculate something terrible. I wrote a report asking about the origin of the original crystal fragments, but the top player told me that they are artificial creatures. Artificial? What a joke. We can create life that advanced in a hundred years. Okay, interesting. What is this? There's a... Interesting. Are these like... Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember from the original game. Okay. Any more lore? No. Okay, you take that off. Great. There's a message in the code track. If you're looking at this, it proves that you successfully crossed the Black Latex Cemetery. Congratulations. Thank you, mysterious person. Okay, let's save again. Let's save here. Okay, great. There's more lore down here, by the way. Oh, shit. Our poor fell to the ground. Okay, cool, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's a reproduction system. So they become this, and then they have new puppies from that. Interesting, interesting. What is this? The black light is beast that looks dangerous, but is actually crystallized and hard. <laughs> Don't say it like that, bro. Initially, no one thought that pale iris would be so contagious, but the time we realized it was too late. The virus exploits immunodeficiency in the human gene, and we can't do anything about it. Typical drugs and vaccines, vaccines have no effect on pale. Generically speaking, such a lethal virus will stop spreading naturally after losing majority of the population, but pale is becoming more and more violent and contagious through the air and ocean. We have no choice but to start genetically engineering to try correct our genes, but the effect will only be seen in the offsprings. We do not have much time. By this time already, someone made the bold assumption that certain parasites could modify the DNA of their host and mutate it. Could this be used for a great discovery in science? Good idea, what types of parasites could achieve this? We experimented a lot in this, but nothing was fruitful. By this time, the top player told us to come to this building and study a jelly-like organism. The top player insisted that a supposed organism was artificially created through genetic engineering and that it had magical ability to transform your genes immediately. Those jelly creatures uh, can rearrange human genes by covering the body and breaking down cells, but the side effects are too significant and the subject's consciousness are simulated in the end. Black latex beast will completely replace subject's body within the genetic structure of the primitive wolf. And the despise every and despise every and despite everything, oh my god, the subject will end up becoming a black latex beast in the shape of a wolf without expectation. But more importantly, the subject's consciousness will completely merge with the black latex beast, and the subject's mind and body will no longer be his. We call the process as a result transfer. Simply put, the person who finishes the treatment is no longer an individual, but rather a member of the gelatinous organism, which is not a desired result. The experiment was successful, but at the same time it also failed. We enclose these black latex beasts, some continue to study, some black latex beast sample that could work. Others went to investigate a new variant of the mutants. Okay, a lot of... Uh, it takes you a while to digest everything. After some thought, you start trying to remember about the vigorous flu that you said it was an ordinary flu. But it's precisely because of this flu that you've been kidnapped to this institute as a test subject, but never got to be used, and the experiment was forced to be suspended. Jelly creatures are rampant here. All the researchers are missing, everything is messy, scattered. Something terrible must have happened. Interesting. I remember we were... Uh, I'm glad my lore is correct, because... Uh, uh, I had a bunch of lore theories ready for change itself, but now that they're confirmed, they're not theories anymore, they're fact. 
and you're gonna see that video uh, in a while but it's, it's a pretty long video so we're working on that we also got devs hello devs they they, they agreed to give us they they they, agree, they agreed to give us behind scenes so while watch it you trust me you'll want to see how much work is being put in this it's amazing oh not this bitch space there we go got it simple as that easy okay what could be here okay another save box you feel someone is watching i'm not gonna save here i don't think there's a reason this is wolf king's room all the ladies beasts are not real wolf still still the king of wolves i'm sure he will notice the disguise now i can only hope the wolf king has gone somewhere i'll pray for you i think you'll be able to cross this area okay wolf king okay is he gonna talk to us again maybe okay hello what uh what is this oh hello interesting oh this music holy hell okay uh if i remember from the stream there's a way to just you know clutch everything like in one one simple spot is it this yes it is uh, it's a uh, it's a bit of a spot you know here in the and the in the map where you know you can just you know just just do this and spin uh Anyways, guys, you know, gameplay? Gameplay is uh, really important for, for players. Oh, no, that thing's coming towards me, isn't it? Okay. There's two of them? Oh, fucking hell. Okay, so they only move when that moves, so I can move on this. No! Okay, let's read. We shall begin. Okay, we go here, and then here. I'm gonna actually drag the thingy from down here, because I think we can do the same thing here. Okay. Okay. Just concentrate, just concentrate. Here, 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 here. Oh god, there's another one. Ah! Oh my god. Uh, I think I... Is this the invincible spot? I think I found an invincible spot. Cool. Yeah. Oh, this is chill. Great. Okay, you go here. I got it. I got it? Yo, I got it! Let's go! Okay, we got it. We got it. Interesting. What happened? Did he die? Okay. See you guys. Nice talking to you. Okay. Whew. Might as well stay while I'm here. Okay. Great. Holy golly. I don't... You, you don't go ahead. Seems... Shows... There's a problem. I resolve immediately, but come back soon. Okay. Interesting. Hey, hey, hey. Can you hear me? It seems that this screen doesn't have any problems. Are you kind of a person who hits a brick wall and doesn't look back? Unfortunately, your efforts won't change anything. Stupid behavior in the end will only lead to a silly ending. This is my last warning. Go back. Become a member of the latex beast that make things too complex. I don't want to spend a long time with you. It would be good for me and you to finish your adventure sooner rather than later. Otherwise, I'm going open. The signal becomes bad. Disappointed later then. Okay, you'll be disappointed later. Sure, I like that. I read about phys philosophy. It makes me think a lot. At the time went, uh, as time went on, I went from thinking about you to if you will come. I realized that I didn't properly value whether you are a good human being. What's wrong with me? Uh, some strange message. I love how we see that Puro, like over time, as you know, notes progresses. English is getting better. If you remember last episode, we had gibberish, and now this episode is actually kind of conversive. So. Because he is opening his mind and reading about stuff. Interesting, interesting. I like. I really don't want to waste my time again. It was my kindness that allowed you to get here. I will never let you take a single step outside the institute. I could have made it more clear to you immediately. But I'm like second-rate thriller. Those kind of stupid vi uh, villains who like to do tricks. Now you must wonder why I stopped you. It is shame. Because I won't let tell you. Oh, it is a shame, pardon me. Hidden dangers that suddenly appear like you. Don't deserve a minute of detail explanation of the details. <laughs> what? Do you think you are... However, I don't think you... I didn't expect you to avoid and dodge so many latex beasts. Otherwise, I would have invested more energy in paying attention to you. In order to avoid future problems, I've already been talking to you for five minutes. You respect me. You didn't respect me, Silas. I can't. My English. Anyway, you can't really... I didn't even read that. Sooner or later, you will be assimilated by latex beasts. Wouldn't it be nice to be obedient? Go back. No, thank you. Can you shut the fuck up? Since you insist on this, I must resort to harsh methods. I didn't think I'd use this. The blade of defense are very sharp. If you should not hear yourself, don't continue. I guarantee you that not even your soul survives something like this. You can't pass through here. Go back and become a latex beast. It's not a bad thing. It's not so bad to become totally a new creature. After assimilation from the beast, you do not just disappear. They do not snatch your conscience and flesh. 
but quite the contrary, they make you a wild fusion of the two. It's just after the fusion of consciousness you may become a little confused. But as long as you get used to the way of thinking and achieving evolution by losing so little, do you think it would be bad? On the other hand, don't you think latest creatures are cute? No, no they're not. Our thoughts are not important to me at all. I just want to solve your hidden dangers soon. Now you can't go on anymore, your adventure seems to only have one possible ending. Is that true? Okay, can we actually step on these? Hmm, okay. I don't know if you can actually step on these or not. That's it, go back and face your inevitable and become a member of those latest beasts. Okay, if you shut up, uh, I will actually, I want to see the hidden ending. There must be a hidden ending somewhere here, can there? Yeah, there must be. You've finally been deceived, just in case, I would rather, if I handle it personally, the preheating of the laser projector has just not been completed. I told you so much and now it's time. I will say nothing more afterwards. I'm thinking of talking to you. I'm tired of talking to you for so long. Cha cha. Okay. Oh shit. Uh, is it gonna kill me? I have no idea. Oh, it is. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's speed run to all that he's saying. I think we just can control C. Have everything skipped. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's try to actually step on these blades. Interesting. Okay, let's try to step on them. Bro, can you shut up? No, you're not. Are you crazy? Are you brain dead? No, I'm not. I just want to step on there. Stop. Okay. I must admit that you beat me. Do you think fans are my ultimate trump card? Try dodge this. Okay. Uh, stay here. Oh god. I think we can move here, here, then here, here. What? Please? Oh, we barely made it. Ooh, okay. Due to a lack of power, it stops. That was close, okay. That was close. Okay, there's a dog going on in there. Let's see what the, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna move these. By the way, uh, in the lore, these cones are actually alive, which is interesting. Cones are blocking your pet, but you can leave these without difficulty. It's time to clear the way. Clear the way here. Okay. Pick them up here. If I remember correctly. There we go. You gotta like, like put this here. They were telling me to do it in like a certain way. There we go. You can kind of like skew. Did they patch it? I hope they didn't patch it. No, they didn't. Okay, great. <laughs> you can just make the AI shit itself with this. Okay, interesting. And then, there we go. Oh, there's a itty bit of lore that we are gonna read there in a sec. Step one, press the button and wait for disinfection. Ventilation opens as effect begins. I wait inside until disinfection finishes. You can leave through the door on the right. Okay. At pressing the button one minute long, disinfection will take place. Ventilation duct will be open during the process. Are you sure we'll start disinfection? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay. It's been completed. Can you not stop me during that? Did you? I don't care. Okay, so we're just gonna wait here. Look, it's a little doggo. It's a little doggo. Little, little doggo. Okay. Oh my. Okay, we got this. Let's press. Hopefully. Okay. Let's start here. No, no, no. Bro, bro, bro. What do you. What? Okay. Subject hiding in the box is mimicking your movements, although it seems a bit difficult, it seems much better than the other bees that rushed over when they saw you. However, how will you elude this imitator? Maybe you can use some imitation feature against it. Okay. Uh, wow, I have a... have... oh my god, come on. I can't, you can't? You can't scroll this? Doesn't let you... okay, how many do I have to save? 100, I'm saving in slot 100, okay. Imitator, you say. Hmm, if I were to just go here... And if I were to get stuck somewhere, I need I need to get it stuck somewhere, don't I? Okay, perfect. Okay, we got this guy done. Be two more there, isn't it? It's two more guys. Yeah, here they are. Okay. Um, or should we be able to avoid these guys? Okay. And then he squeezes right through. Okay. Like you're supposed to do that. Oh no, one of them is stuck. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, how are you supposed to do this? I mean, there's two of them now. Go back. Okay. Wait. What do you mean, bro? Now you're both stuck in there? Did I just soft lock myself? That wasn't even close. Okay. Yeah, but this is the feature I've been telling you about. You actually get to see like the 3D model, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave this here. I don't wanna do any more. Those boxes are pissing me off so badly. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching it. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, you can, you know, click the red button down below. Although the prompt is probably already prepared. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.